Hello guys, welcome to another video, and today I wanted to talk about a little topic that I've been thinking about lately. That is the Sonic 25th anniversary, that is, because this year is 2016, which marks the 25th anniversary of the year that Sonic 1 came out, so, um, that's pretty exciting, and, um, I just wanted to mention, since that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kinda young, like, I really haven't experienced much of these, like, or, I mean, I've experienced the anniversary titles, I've played through, well, Sonic 1, Adventure 2, 06, um, Generations, and, um, yeah, I mean, I've played the games, but I never really was able to experience, like, the hype train, like, like the, like the, friggin', like, w watch out, here comes the new game, everybody flip out, because here's the trailer release, but, um, recently they have tweeted out, well, not tweeted, they've actually put on almost all their social media as, um, the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter put this on their, um, or like social media account or whatever put this on their social media and this this got me pretty hyped this made me start thinking like what, what could this game possibly be but um, obviously um, as of this date um, which would be April 22nd that's the day I'm recording this but it may be uploaded a little bit later yeah we don't really know anything about what this game could be so I went on to the official Sonic the Hedgehog Facebook group on well Facebook and I asked a bunch of people some questions so here's some of the responses that I got um, from Ricky S S Bart I don't know how to pronounce that no um, I'll, I'll manage I'm just gonna call you Ricky all right Ricky gameplay style um, he wants to boost gameplay but with more 3d platforming now I can see where that could be, um, like, interesting. But once again, I am getting kind of sick of the boost game, but once they tried to get rid of the boost game, we got Sonic Lost World, which is a questionable game, but I liked it. And he also wants levels like Heroes with its variety of level themes. Now I can definitely see where he would want that. I, As much as I don't like Heroes like Control and gimmicks and stuff, I will admit that the level design is very broad and out there, and, uh, and it's, it's an out there in a good way, so... Um, that's good. That's, that's a good thing. So, But how would they incorporate that into the boost gameplay? I'm not sure, but once again, only time will tell. He wants multiple play playable characters, kind of like the adventure games, such as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, all in the same gameplay, but they play differently. So I'm assuming what he means by this is that they all can go fast. They all have like the sort of the same momentum and like playable types, but like each of them have their own unique abilities, kind of like S3 and K. Kind of like how Tails was just a reskin of Sonic, but he could fly, or how Knuckles was kind of a reskin of Sonic, but with a couple of physics differences in the fact that he could glide. Now, Amy, I'm not sure how they'll do that, but I'm hoping that they handle it somewhat, somewhat like they did in Heroes, how she was kind of like Sonic, but um, with a couple of new moves. And um, I, I just hope that they don't go back to the adventure style, but... Well, the only reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of people didn't like the adventure style, but I, on the other hand, I didn't mind it. I thought it was okay, but whatever, it all comes down to opinion. Lauren Gum says, Chow Garden. Just, just Chow Garden. Well, um, I don't know. I mean, at the, um, at the panel that they had, they did ask if they wanted a Chow Garden, but they didn't say that there was any plans. They were just like, hey, you guys like the Chow Garden? No plans, just, just, just saying. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I have a high chance that in the new game that they are going to have a Chow Garden, so hopefully you'll be happy if they do have that. Dylan Costello says, Could we please bring back the boost formula in a 3D environment? Then he replies to himself and says, Actually, this is how I want it to be. Gameplay, boost formula, in a full 3D environment for Sonic and Tails and Knuckles as optional characters, and a spin dash setting. So what he's saying is kind of like a cross between adventure and generations or unleashed or colors, which I can definitely see that working um, if they, you know, put their minds to it. Presentation, unleashed style CGI in cutscenes with a bit more upgrade or anime style cutscenes like Sonic Riders. And that I can definitely agree with. I really enjoyed the Sonic Riders anime opening and I wish that more was animated like that. But the unleashed style CGI is beautiful and um, I definitely hope that if there is CGI, then they do that. I totally agree with that. Story, something similar to Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic Unleashed. So he's saying that maybe if they wanted to keep it simple, at least have it simple, kind of like Sonic 3, where there wasn't a whole lot of story, but it was enough to at least have some substance. 
And then he says he also wants it like Sonic Unleashed, which I, that's what I want. But maybe 99% less Werehog. We don't need that. Music. He wants the music by Crush 40, Cash Cash, Tony Harnell, Ted Poley, and the composer of Sonic Rush and Jet Set Radio. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of artists. Um, I can definitely say that I would want Crush 40 as the theme again. Maybe Cash Cash for some optional themes and definitely some level themes. Maybe. Tony Harnell, definitely. Ted Poley, definitely. Because, I mean... I mean, you know, rolling around at the speed of sound, and we need a we need a sequel to that. They never really did a proper follow up to that, so perhaps we can get one. Who knows? Sonic Adventure Three, and a composer from Sonic Rush and Jet Set Radio. Now, in case you guys don't know, Sonic Rush and Jet Set Radio had the same composer, and um, their soundtrack is very out there. I'm not a big fan of it, but I know a lot of people who really do like it, so. I don't know, maybe. I highly doubt it, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Extras. He wants the extras to be supersonic as an unlock at the end of the game, and collecting all the red rings can give you hypersonic, super tails, and hyper knuckles. And he would also like to see the Sonic Adventure 2 battle style multiplayer in Chow Garden. No help worlds, although he did enjoy them at times. That's what I would like to see in his quotes. Now, I would like to see hub worlds because honestly I found the hub worlds kind of charming in an adventure, but just don't make us run slowly around them because playing as big in a huge hub world was torture. So hopefully all the characters are the same speed so that we can get that same feeling that we got as Sonic running through the hub worlds in SA1. Or just don't have them at all, have a level to level progression just like SA2. Nathan, he, he, oh, you guys have weird names, but you know. I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to call you guys by your first name from now on. So Nathan would like to have more playable characters other than just being stuck with Sonic. Like maybe Rouge, Shadow, Tails, Amy, Cream, Cheese, and so on. Now, I don't know what you would do with Cream and Cheese, but um, perhaps something like the Sonic Advance games, but brought to the third dimension. But do it right, for God's sakes. Don't make us another Silver from Sonic 06. Just don't. Don't, 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 don't. Lucas would like to see a mix of boost and adventure gameplay with Tails and Knuckles as the other playable characters. Oh, and Chow Gardens too. Well, that basically sums up what I want. Yep. Nikki says, I'll be excited for when I actually see what it is. Doesn't really answer the question, but, um, me too. I agree. Just, how, how, do, you pro how do you pronounce that? How do you, now the first names are getting weird. Eh, whatever. She wants more playable characters like Tails, Amy, Knuckles that have to complete different missions. So, kind of structure like SA2, which I definitely want. But I would like a little boost gameplay in there, just a little bit. But, um, I mean, yeah, I guess I can see, like, maybe have Sonic with the boost and then maybe bring back the mech and the treasure hunting. While I wouldn't like to see the mech, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind seeing the treasure hunting back if they unnerfed the radar. Like, bring it back to its SA1 days where it could lock onto multiple emeralds and not just one, because that was a major pet peeve with SA2 for me. Cameron says that he wants a Silver the Hedgehog game, this time without Solaris or Sonic as villains. Bring Sonic's friend. No. 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 But that's basically what everybody else said. Now, while I do agree with most of it, I would like to give you guys what I think, what I want to see in the Sonic 25th Anniversary game. While Sonic Lost World wasn't the best game in the world by a long shot, like there was a many problems with the level design, and there was definitely some problems with the control. Bring back momentum-based gameplay like in the Adventure Days. Maybe throw in some boost in there. Not a whole lot, but just enough to make a difference. Kind of like how the Sonic Adventure Generations mod did in Sonic Generations. Do something like that, because that that's good. But tweak the controls to make them feel more, I don't know, adventure-y. Bring back the treasure hunting. Put the radar back in its original place. Make it actually useful again, so that I don't have to worry about, you know, like missing a piece. And then having to backtrack through the level to find the piece that I may have missed because that's annoying, especially on levels like Death Chamber. So bring back the old radar if you're going to put in, you know, treasure hunting. And while I don't like the mech stages at all, 
Like, if they do bring him back, at least make the things control less stiff. Because that was that was pretty much the only problem I had with the mech stages in SA2. They controlled so stiff and everything felt so hard to control. So fix the controls for the mechs and I can actually see something pretty fun to like, you know, play around in. Like take for instance, like, I don't know, make it kinda like the heavy in Team Fortress 2. I mean, I know that's a kind of a whole different genre of gaming, but I, I guess kinda make it like that. Where it's where it's powerful. It can do a lot. Sure, it's kind of slow, but it's it, it's okay to get around with. It's not terrible. It's okay. People might want to play as that. Make so make it make it fun. That's all I'm gonna say. And really, as a whole, the only thing I want out of a Sonic 25th anniversary game is a good game. And with this image right here showing Boom Sonic, Modern Sonic, and Classic Sonic, I'm not sure what to expect. Now, some people said Sonic Generations 2, but I highly doubt that because, honestly, what are you going to put in Generations 2? Lost World and Boom? Is that is that it? That'd be two levels. Might as well just make DLC for Generations 1. But, whatever. So, with this image, I guess I might as well do some speculating while we're still here. Now, I don't want to say that there's going to be a Boom Modern and Classic uh, crossover because, I mean, that's what Sonic Runners is for. I mean, they already threw... threw they already threw Classic Sonic in there, so they might as well just throw Boom in there and make, make that the crossover of the century, am I right? Have B-Movie Sonic. I mean, it's beautiful. But, um, yeah, most importantly, just make something fun. Something that I would enjoy to play. And with that said, that's all I wanted to talk about. So, put in the comments below, what would you like to see in a Sonic 25th Anniversary game? Because I already said what I want, so I want to hear what you guys want. And, um... Maybe do some speculations in chat, like what you think some of these images mean, like what the hidden numbers mean, even though they already said what they mean. Um, we, we, can, we can still guess. I mean, they, they may be lying. All right, now I'm just thinking way too hard into this. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.